Toronto. I see you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I entertain my guests on wine night. I feel like everybody always overthinks entertaining guests. It sounds like it's very difficult, but honestly, I feel like the way I entertain guests, I can make it as easy as possible because I actually enjoy it. So today I'm going to be showing you guys like an easy wine night setup. We're going to do a nice cheese tray. Well, a nice display. I don't want to say like it's just cheese tray because we're going to do like a little mini appetizer as well. And then I'm going to show you guys another thing that I do instead of just um, making a meal. You can always just pop something in the oven really quick. But first, let's start with the cheese tray. A lot of the things that I'm going to be using today are things that you have in your fridge and your pantry already. So it's, that's the fun part about this. This is very cheap. This is a very last minute entertaining. And then we're going to start off with some fruit. So obviously you have, like it is a must to have grapes on your cheese tray. So this is just regular, this Welch's. I'm just going to rinse them off. nice purple grapes. I'm going to put this, I think right here is pretty. So next we have a pomegranate fruit and I'm just going to cut this in half um, and kind of place it together. So you have to be careful with these because these could bleed. So wherever you put them, just try to leave them where you put them. So this is what it looks like in the inside. It's so freaking pretty. Honestly, I could eat all these seeds and just have a ball, but I like to use them for my cheese trays just for some extra color. So I'm gonna put this, I'm probably just gonna use one of these because like I said, this cheese tray is pretty small. So I think that's pretty. Use a grapefruit. I think, as you guys notice, I'm using all pretty fruit. So I'm just that's another thing you want to make sure you are making everything as pretty as possible like I said cheese trays are meant for so I cut up some apple slices and I'm gonna put these I think right here would be pretty so next we have our dry fruit and our nuts so this is another fun thing that I like to use so these are some milk chocolate milk. <laughs> these are some milk chocolate almonds. Line it. There's no right or wrong way to do this. It's really just kind of have to have an eye for it a little bit. You want it to look messy, but not like you just threw the shit right there. You know, roasted and salted cashews, my favorite. Every time I have people over, they're like, Amanda, you're just drinking, you need to eat. We have no idea, I'm sitting here and I'm eating the entire time. My boyfriend loves these, these are the pineapple wedges. Sun dry, I mean, they're dried, so these are super, super sweet. So these are gonna go right here. Not a lot because he's the only person that eats these. I don't want it just sitting there. Have to have these on your cheese tray. When I tell you, everybody loves these. I personally don't eat these, but these are the dried apricots. Everyone loves these. I, I don't want to be a hater. I just don't like them. <laughs> That's just me though. Wait, I feel like I want to put this back here. These are really popular, so you just have them right there. I kind of switched these two out because I felt like the pomegranate was kind of too in front. Let me see the back. Um, these are just some little glass things that I use as um, to put jam in them. 
So I'm gonna put one right here and one right here. So we're, as you can see, now we're looking like something, we're creating just different layers. That's all this is. We're just layering things up, making it as cute as possible. Where are these popping in? These tomatoes, and I like to get the ones with different colors. These, mm, right here. I'm just gonna add a few, just to get some extra color. Our jars, so you must have dill pickles on your cheese board. I feel like this is a must, well for me it is, I don't know. For me, this is um, some kosher dill pickles, and then I'm not an olive person, but I have a lot of friends that are olive, and they like it with their wine, so we're gonna find places for these two. Here, I feel like this is a pretty place to put them. This olives, I don't know, I didn't have anything for it, but this is why I like doing different layers. Um, this is just a, um, the olives in here. I'm probably gonna add like a little fork later. So that can go maybe right here. Um, I like a lot of cheese, you can pick any cheese you want. Um, a lot of cheeses, I don't even know how to pronounce, it's so sad, but stuff. But I don't know what this cheese is, how to pronounce it, but I know what it looks like and I know that I like it. So I'm going to put this cheese right in the middle because it's, it's such a pretty cheese. It has those nice little blue marks in it. I'm going to do a goat cheese, but this is like a hard one. This is a Gouda style goat cheese. This is one of my favorites. Um, might just cut this one in half because it's a lot of cheese and so whatever you don't whatever cheese you don't use just put it in a ziploc bag get the wrapper in it just so you know when oops when it expires cut them up so people will gravitate more towards it because a lot of people don't like cheese boards because they feel like it's so pretty they don't want to ruin it. But if you cut it, it makes people more intrigued and like, oh, let me have a little slither. You know, it kind of breaks the ice. So all we because it's so huge, I'm gonna cut it in half again. And this one's a little cheese I have a cheddar mild Wisconsin I never tried this one I just thought it was cheddar but I have like a little twist on it which I love I love trying cheese and it's kind of new And so when you're doing all this, just make sure that you're saving room for the crackers and stuff, because we still have to put that on there. But I'd like to put it on last, because, I don't know, it's not that serious. We can literally just throw that stuff on top of anything. One, two, it's not super, super hard. Um, everybody likes Parmesan cheese. It doesn't really taste that much to me, but that's just to me, so. And I like to leave this one because it's cut in like a perfect, like almost pizza shape. I like to just put it like right in there because it's easy. To slide in here. Oops. I'm gonna cross no beef with my pomegranate. Sea salt. I like these. These are really, really nice and they kind of hold everything on there. So I'm just gonna open up the This is just so good. I can eat this entire bag. So 
So I'm just gonna slide these out. These are really, really pretty too. I like how they, they're just a different texture and a different color too. So it adds like a nice look. favorite these are the you have to have these like you have to every wine tasting that I've ever been to they have had these so um, these are the fried salted almonds They're so, so I like to use two jams for my cheese tray I like to use a big preserve jam this is my absolute favorite and then they have the balsamic sweet onion jam which is really yummy too so and I'm just gonna put these up Yeah. The next thing I like to do, I have like these little cheese um, cutters, and I like to just kind of stick them in the cheeses, just to kind of, I don't know, let people know that they're here. So what I like to do is add like little rosemary all throughout, just to kind of add, this is just for decoration, obviously not to eat, but just to add like a little green to everything and it makes everything nice and pretty and then it smells really nice. These are some pizzas. You can get any brand that you like and just pop them in the oven and put them in the freaking tray. It does not have to be that serious. I think I'm just gonna go with the Italian style meat trio. So while our pizza is in the oven, we're gonna prepare our little appetizer, and then by the time we're done with the appetizer, our pizza will be done, and that is how we do wine night over here. It is the simplest, easiest wine night ever. This is going right in the oven for 20 minutes. Um, I got the Meat Lovers pizza. And then, so you're gonna need um, mozzarella little balls that they sell at the grocery. You're gonna need tomatoes basil leaves. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is literally just tomato. You can do a basil leaf. Put that on there as well. And mozzarella. How easy is that? That's pretty much what a caprese salad is. Just these three. And you dip it or maybe I'll drizzle it. I'm not sure but that's it. Literally just tomato, basil, and mozzarella. It's the yummiest snack ever. So I'm just gonna do that with a few of them and just kinda lay them around and it goes for a nice appetizer. Just make a little room for the balsamic glaze. I think I just want to do it like as a dipping. I'm gonna use this one since it's more full. And it's super yummy. And just put it in there like so. And you can always make your own glaze. If you just have the balsamic vinegar, you can put it on the stove and make it go to a bubble, you know, all that stuff. You can do that. Let me try my knees, so good. I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil in there. 
just going to be more of a dipping sauce. And then I'm just taking some salt and pepper. And I'm just putting it around and around. And there you have it. Our cheese board and appetizers are finished. So while we wait on our pizza to be finished, I think we have 10 more minutes. That's how fast it took me to do that. That's how easy this entire wine night is going to be. So while we're waiting on our pizza, we have 10 minutes left. Let's enjoy some wine together. We'll be drinking red. So I always recommend a Malbec when you're hosting because it's not too dry and it's not too sweet. It's kind of like right in the middle. It's a really nice red blend. Um, mm, smells like a dream. you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe that really helps me a lot and um yeah that's really all i have so i'm gonna enjoy my glass of wine and maybe you should too